Alright, look, so statistically speaking, right, if your dad went to go get milk or fucking cigarettes at a gas station and they never come back, and you think, oh, they, they like, probably abandoned me, right? There's a big chance that they might have just, like, fucking died. There might have been a chance that they were gonna come back with the milk or the cigarettes, and then they just died, and just no one told you about it, or his body just disappeared after he died, like, just, like, fruit. He just fucking vanished, and you just have daddy issues for pretty much no reason. Okay, I don't think anyone talks about this, but is it better to have daddy issues or mommy issues? You know, like people don't fucking talk about this shit a lot. Like I've never seen anyone argue about mommy or daddy issues, which one's better. Like, and I feel like people should talk about it and argue because I would love to hear people's perspective on it. Like, let's say you dated someone for like six years, and then fucking, and you were like both adopted and like and shit like that, whatever. And then later on, you figure out that you were both are related. You wasted six years of your life with that person, loving them and fucking look at them as your like romantic partner. Do you still date them or do you break things off? You wasted so much time of your fucking life, and it's like it's kind of like it's kind of awkward now. I don't know. I would still smash it. Like, I'm not a bougie bitch, but my ass is definitely a bougie bitch because I cannot take anything but free play toilet paper. Alright? One play toilet paper, that's not even toilet paper. You're better off just literally wiping with your fucking hand. Two ply, it's, it's, it's fine, but like, free play is literally the goat of toilet paper. Alright? Yes, it's expensive, but like, my bougie ass needs it. Again, I'm not bougie myself, but my ass is definitely. Bougie as fuck. So what? I had a fucking crush on SpongeBob. All right, so what? I don't give a fuck. It's a sponge. What a fucker, hot dude as hell. Four seconds, CC. Let's look half of a fucking bee's life. Bee's life for like eight seconds. I literally got CC for half of a fucking bee's life. Are you fucking kidding? Me? I want a tall and muscular man to come to come after me and control the fuck out of me. That's sick. The cum pizza guy fucked a terrorist. Being like a normal sentence in the context of the furry community is so fucked. That's a normal sentence in the furry community? The f what the fuck does that even mean? Dude, why does this make me feel like a virgin? I mean, okay, look. I am a virgin. Right? I like, okay, I've never had sex with a woman, ever. But why is playing video games in the dark make me seem even, make me feel like even more of a virgin? I mean, I am just a virgin. I've never fucked a woman. But I don't think about being a virgin all the time or like feeling it. But now that I'm playing video games in the dark, it's like it's like it's like fucking hell. I just feel like a virgin, dude. Okay, to be honest, I actually also feel like I'm more. I feel like more of a virgin right now is because I've been playing fucking League of Legends pretty much literally the entire day, which is like literally fucking stupid and the worst thing any human being can do to themselves. The worst thing is that I fucking been raging every single game. So I am actually probably have my brain deteriorated. Like I feel like my brain is actually like a fucking liquid for me to be raging every single game and then continue to play League of Legends. I am actually mentally ill. I can probably go to a doctor and they will actually diagnose me with a mental condition. How the fuck you steal water from a desert? It's a desert. The whole point of it is that water doesn't exist in that area of the universe. There's probably a bunch of furries in the armed forces. Just imagine, you're fucking talking to a furry and then you just call him like cringe, but he was like in the army and he knows a bunch of furry friends that were also in the army and they just fucking raid your house and beat the shit out of you because you called furries cringe on Twitter. That's scary. That is extremely fucking scary, to be honest. It's so not enjoyable, because it's like, God damn, it feels like I'm gonna piss myself. Or, maybe it's society's fault from not normalizing pissing yourself. It's like, clearly, I need to pee, but, like, I need to play League. But I can't piss myself, because it's fucking weird. But if society normalized pissing yourself, then it wouldn't be weird, and I could just game and just say, fuck it, I'm gonna piss myself right now. And just, and it would be so fucking fine. But no, society's like, no, you can't because it's like, fucking cringe, dude. What the fuck? My god, it's so cute! Y'all wish to wipe! You turn me to cap, I wish to wipe! I will wish to wipe! It's made some rip! Ooh, 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 ooh,